Paul? Paul? It's, it's Bob Wilson. Yeah. You, you've won the Nobel. Uh -huh. You've won the Nobel Prize. I was asleep and the doorbell rang at two in the morning and I saw Bob's face and he was knocking at the door and telling me that uh, they were trying to call me and that we had won uh, the Nobel Prize in economics. He had turned off all of it, both his landline and his cell phone. So I just came over. They asked me, the Nobel people asked, that would I please go over and knock on his door? <laughs> <laughs> So Bob was my dissertation advisor, you know, and, and mm -hmm. I got interested in auction theory because I wanted him to be my advisor. I'd been advised by Ben Holmes from one of your previous oh, students. He yeah. mm -hmm. said, well, the first thing you need to do is get Bob to be your advisor. So I picked on a topic that interested him. I'd like to mention he's the third of my students to receive a Nobel Prize. I'm very proud of that because I'm, I'm a teacher and I take great pride in the successes of my students people think about art galleries or eBay for that matter, they think about buying you know, one thing or selling one thing and uh, people competing to buy or sell that one thing. These are really simple auctions, but there are complicated auctions in the world too. The theory of auctions is really just a special application of game theory to a special kind of game. The key thing is that we're auctioning many items at the same time. The auction goes on until there are no new bids. So it's an auction that's designed to be transparent, to be slow and methodical. We worked together to design the first uh, U.S. Uh, radio spectrum auction, which is a novel design that became the basis for many other designs and billions of dollars of transactions around the world. And setting that up in a way that uses bidding is something that nobody knew how to do before. And we were able to innovate new economic methods, market design methods that made that possible. Well, he's a phenomenon, so he's very precise, very rigorous. He thinks like a mathematician in a very rigorous, uh, detailed kind of way. I'm more of a speculative thinker. He's very <laughs> precise. For me, Bob and I think very differently. He is a much more visual thinker. He would draw graphs and pictures of things which I would go home and try to decipher and try to figure out um, what he was talking about. But it was, it was inspiring, but uh, it was also stretching me in new directions. It's so great to, you know, we're enthusiastic about what we do, you know. Yeah. We're we like it, and, and, uh, and it's exciting. Yeah, and so I continue a... to be excited by new things, and, and uh, that's a great life to be able to live this way.